Hello, my name is Rob. Uh, I thought I'd make a little bit of a video on a homemade laser that I've made. Um, it consists of three parts. The first is the iShow software, the second is the laser world scanners, and the third are just some diodes that I had floating around my house. Um, I was going to try to make an instructional video, but the fact of the matter is if you want to make a homemade laser, you shouldn't need any instructions because they're all out there and you should have enough base knowledge to know what you're doing. So I suppose this is really just about what I've managed to do so far. This is the first stage of a laser that I want to build. I want to build a big laser, a big three color laser. I'm thinking probably about one and a half watts uh, with analog modulation because I like the idea of having fading inputs to produce different shades and colors, not just the traditional seven colors you get from from three from a three diode laser. My laser um, this. There's the uh, the two scanner modules, the two scanners, the two mirrors that move the image around, and here's a red and a green laser and a one-way mirror. And over here are all the connectors that connect it along this cable down and along here. To the interface box, and then from the interface box to a USB cable. Um, to make the cable to connect the interface box, I just merely chop the printer end off a, an old printer cable and then connected the 25 pins or the 25 wires from into 25 pins from strip connectors. On each of the wires I soldered a blob of solder so that the screw in the top of the strip connector actually had something to clamp to. Then it was just simply a question of connecting all the outputs to the bits and uh, connecting the software up and running. I'm just projecting this image here and uh, that's what I was able to make. So the next stage now is to make the box to put everything in. 